Hi everyone. Today in this session, we are going to learn how to use set actions to drill down into one specific category. For this, we'll be using Sample Superstore Dataset, which is available on Tableau. So let's get started. So first of all, we bring product hierarchy into row shelves and bring the sales number and order date into column shelf. So here you will see we have all the sales by order date uh, and by category. So if we click on plus sign on the category row shelf, you will see that all the categories are drilled down into subcategories. But it's either we are seeing everything or we are seeing nothing. So what we are trying to achieve using set actions is something where when we click on one category, like furniture in this case, we will only see the drill down at that level. So if we click on office supply, we will only see the drill down at that specific category. So how we can achieve this? So let's start with uh, bringing the data source in. So go to data tab onto the top left corner and bring new data source. And there you can see sample superstore data source, which is the saved data sources. So click on that and you will get the sample superstore data set on your left hand panel. And from here, we already have the product category and subcategory hierarchy. So let's bring the product hierarchy into the row shelf. And as we did earlier, bring the sales into the, uh, bring the sales category as well. Sales measure into the measure shelf and bring order date into columns. So here we have achieved the same thing which I showed you earlier. Now in order to bring each of the category drill down at that particular level, we need to create a set at category level. So let's go to category and create a set. And let's call it a category set. And we haven't selected anything here. So when we click on it, and if we bring the category set into the row shelf, you will see all of them it's saying out, which means that none of them are selected right now. So we will create another calculation for subcategories. And here we will say if we have selected the category set, then give me subcategories else give me nothing and so what will this calculation do so let's see that so subcategories we bring it into the row shelf right now you will see nothing is there so ideally when we click on furniture it should drill down into subcategories which is not happening right now so this is because we haven't created the set actions so let's go to the worksheet and create an action for this. Add an action and we will say change set value. So here we will create a new set for subcategory drill down. And we have selected the sheet one and the data set as sample superstore. And we are saying category set. And here we have selected the action on select. and then at the radio button select remove all values from set so which means when you unselect the category it will remove all the values from the set so let's see what happens now click ok and now if we click on office supplies it drill down all the subcategories and if we click on furniture it gives me only furniture and for technology it only gives me technology and let's unselect that and it will go back to the normal view and you can see when we select a category the in-out category is showing all in, which means they are selected. So let me remove that. And now we have all this working perfectly fine. But in order to add more value to it, so let's add some symbols to show which field is, which category is selected and which is not. So let's create another calculation field for categories. And here we do the same thing if category set is selected then let's pick up a special symbol 
which we can go to this website and get it from there. So when we say it is selected, we copy this symbol and we go back to this value and we paste it here and give a little bit space. And then we say if this is selected, then do this, else we select another symbol, which we can pick it up as this one. And we go back and we say, see the size of the symbol? So we can select a different symbol for this case. So maybe we select this one, which is a bit bigger in size. So here you can see we have selected. Once the category is selected, it will show you the drop down uh, with this symbol. And when it's not selected, it will show you by this symbol. And we can say end. And after that, we can concatenate the category value. Let's drag this field just next to categories. So you will see here, it's working perfectly fine. When you click on office supply, see the symbol changes here. That's what we were trying to achieve. And for this case, just hide the categories. We don't want to see that. And we can now do a bit of formatting where we can just um, do a bit of formatting on these labels and shading. So we can just remove the shading for this one and just keep it simple. And if you want to add more formatting colors, you can do it on this one. So now if we create a dashboard, we just need to bring that sheet in and remove the heading and you can give the different headings and you can just select. So, okay, another thing, when you bring anything from sheets to dashboard, you have to recreate the actions in the dashboard. So let's go and create a new action in here and we will do the same thing what we did earlier and we will just after creating so subcategory drill down let's give it the name and press ok and you can see here it's working as expected so that's about it hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you next time thank you